Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad uh, and in today's daily dose of title uh, we are going to check into the energies and uh, what awaits us in general for a 3rd of uh, June uh, 2022nd and uh, should you be uh, interested in a personal reading with me you can check out uh, the description down below there you're going to see full list of, uh, not full list but a link to my website in which you're going to see full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that set aside uh, the cards for today uh, we do have the um, five of pentacles the second card, ooh, we do have um, the King of Swords. And the third card of the day, that is going to be a Five of Cups. So these three cards. It's a interesting and yet difficult read of what we have in front of us. So this is going to be, uh, at least according to the card, is going to be a pivotal day where we kind of like sort out certain things, uh, mainly concerns and problems. And these concerns and problems are going to regard to the aspect of our lives, which we are feeling most uncertain at so for example should you be let's say uncertain about your job that is because there are some problems and those problems are exactly what you can fix in these in that day should you be concerned about uh, your relationship your concern is about it is because you do have problems and that day you can address those problems not alone though okay that is because we do have these two cards here the five of pentacles with the king of swords and uh immediately when i saw these cards i saw a fixer a person who uh, whom professional expertise is to fix problems like your own and another example here should you feel uncertain about your health then your fixer, it's your physician. Should you be feeling concerned about your business, then your fixer, it's your business counselor. Okay. The thing it is about this person here that we do have, the King of Swords, they have two things. Okay. One is they have use of you, aka your money as a fee or your influence if that's a favor, etc. etc. The second thing they have is that they do have the expertise to help you with your problems because that could be as well for all i know uh the couples therapist that you may want to go for okay for all i know that could be as well the psychiatrist that you may need and so on and so forth so with the help of this individual you will be able to form a strategy how to get out of the midst of the difficulties that you are facing which are making you feel uncertain about um, whatever field those cards are talking about because some of us are going to feel uncertain about our job others are going to feel uncertain about our marriages for those who have others are going to feel uncertain about um, and an opportunity they want to take and so on and so forth so it's going to be a regarding a different problem for different people but nonetheless the problems are related to our insecurity and the feel that we are that we are feeling most insecure about so let's talk about those insecurities well we can see those insecurities in those in those two cards here uh, which are the five of pentacles with the five of cups okay so a few things we can say about that elemental dignity First thing that we can say it is that we made our choice to have it that way and that was just because right now we are facing these predicaments that doesn't mean that we made the wrong choice. In fact, on the contrary, now according to these cards, that is the right, that was a the right bet, so to speak, okay? But as the... Um, as the thing unfolds and progresses forward, of course, there are going to be 
uh, unsatisfy, unsatisfiable circumstances, you know, that of course there are going to be disappointments, even, even a feeling of losses at some point. But the bottom line is that all of that can be rectified and it should be rectified and it is something temporary, not permanent. Bottom line of these two cards is that we should not deviate from the path we chose. That's the bottom line of those two cards. And another thing that they show it is that a big portion of our concerns, it is the style or the way we approach those concerns. And that's why we do need a professional, um, professional help into those fields. Like I counted down uh, a couple of minutes ago. And uh, if we don't have such a professional help on our mind right now, today it's a good day where we are going to stumble upon it. We should not hesitate to, to make a contact with that professional help. Or even if we don't stumble upon it, we should think about it and, and try to research it for ourselves. Who can help us? What kind of a person can help us with what we are facing as a problem. So with that said, uh, this was the daily tarot guidance, or rather like the daily dose of tarot. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.